Hi everyone, Susan McGarry here. I am going to talk about cold fusion today. And quite simply, cold fusion is gluing. Warm fusion or hot fusion is putting your glass in a kiln and melting it together using heat. But we are gonna use glue. That's cold fusion. It's a fancy way of saying gluing. You can use just about any kind of glue you want. Um, E6000, super glue, two-part epoxy. I'm going to use this one today, though. It is a UV glue. And I found it at an as-seen-on-TV store. Uh, you can also get them on Amazon, I found. And what it does is, um, you know, it bonds several things, it says there. But what UV glue does is bond with UV. So you pop this little thing off, you have to put something in there to puncture the tube of glue, but you squeeze out your glue and then you cure it with UV light. Now you can stick it out in the sun or you can use the little UV light that they provide you. This thing actually comes out, but it's pretty handy. Um, I don't know if these will be around forever, but uh, while they're around, I got a few. One of the things that's important to know is that light has to penetrate whatever it is you're gluing. It has to be able to see through it. So there's some things we'll have to work around and we'll talk about that. So let me set the package aside and keep our glue. We'll talk about these a little bit. These are the ones that I'm gonna show you how to make and then one little bonus one at the end that I think is pretty cute. Um, so something like this or something like this, you can see is just transparent dichroic glass. See that? And I've done enough layers that I have a hole going through the middle of it. And let me show you this one and this one. These are transparent dichroic glass on top, but with black or colored glass on the back. And they're made pretty much the same. It's just how many layers you're going to do. So something like this would be a dichroic, piece of dichroic glass on top of a piece of colored glass or black glass. And you would glue that. Or something like this, you can put this on clear glass and glue that together. Or you can take an extra piece of glass like this and glue it together with that sandwiched in between. And what happens is you end up with a little space for your pendant, you know, your, your cord to go through. So let's just make it simple, since you've got the idea. I'll do this on green glass. Now what I found is when I put the glue through the middle, I end up with, um, sometimes I can see it through the clear glass. Let me show you this one. I don't know if you can see that sort of milk. You see that right there? You can kind of see it. So I prefer doing it on the, the colored glass or black glass because then I can get some glue in the middle and not worry about seeing the glue. Now I'm gonna set this on top. And this only takes five seconds to cure once you get the light on it. So you wanna make sure it is right where you want it. I'm going to use this little light and get it sort of started. Now I can pick it up and glue Shine that light through the, the clear, transparent glass there. See, I've got Dichro on top. It's clear underneath. So I am shooting through that clear layer at least five seconds. All right, it's done. Your pendant is almost ready to wear. Um, the only thing I would do to, to uh, finish this is grind this on the grinder so that I have um, edges that aren't sharp and going to cut you. And you can see on this dichro, see that little sharp bit? We don't want that 
cutting into somebody and glass can be sharp on the edges so you would grind it down and it would look like this it's not fire polished or polished um, but if you've got grinding equipment that you can um, hand grind it without putting it in the kiln then you could make that edge look shiny but it certainly doesn't have to be it can look just like that and be just fine but you definitely want to uh, clean up the edges so that it's not sharp on somebody and you don't want to put this in the kiln because that glue uh, would not be good burning off um, it might not be safe for you so I would recommend not putting that in the kiln after you've glued it so that's why you're going to want to do the the cold working the polishing the edges or grinding the edges and then the other thing you want to do is add a bale since the glass is not transparent and the bale is not transparent you can't use the special UV glue you can use other glues you can use your E6000 or your two-part epoxy I don't recommend uh, super glue it'll just pop off but if you've seen some of my other videos you know that you can use um, the E6000 and that works great if you've done that separate layer in the middle with the hole in it then you don't even need to glue a bale you just run your cord through and it's ready to go now let's talk about this one this one is essentially a piece of black glass with a piece of dichroic glass with an image on it. And so there's a couple ways uh, you can do this. If you're using a piece of dichroic glass with the dichro and it's transparent, you can put it on the black glass. And again, you can cure through that piece of clear glass, just like we did on that other one. If you're using a piece of dichroic glass like this that's on black you're going to have to put it on a piece of clear because remember if you put it on black the light can't get to it if you put it on another piece of dichro the light can't get to it right so you'd have to use something transparent you could use a transparent dichro that way you could shine the light through the glass or from the back. So that's an option. If you really wanted to put it on this piece of blue glass and it's black, you've got essentially two pieces of black glass, then you would have to use one of the other types of glue. You can't use the UV glue, right? Okay, so that's done. So now let's get to this fun one. What's fun about this UV glue is you can do three-dimensional objects. So these guys, you could certainly do in a kiln. You don't need to glue them. Without the glue, if you have a kiln, just fire it in the kiln. But something like this we can't fire in the kiln because it's three-dimensional. Do you see that? There we go. So that's where this glue comes in handy and having it cure in five seconds is definitely an advantage. We're not worried about taping it together and hoping it doesn't slide when we're not watching it. We can cure it immediately. So let's see how this one's made. I started with I started with dichroic glass that's on it's transparent. It's hard to see with this light. I'm sorry. Um, but I started with a square and then I cut the square in half diagonally. That gave me two triangles. I did that again, but only used one of the other triangles. So what I end up doing is gluing two of these together, and I will hold that while, the, while I cure the glue, and then I'll add the third one, and then we'll add a back piece. And the back piece I drew after I had these glued together so that I got the exact right size. But one thing I want to point out is if it hasn't been fired, dichroic glass can scratch. So I want the dichro on the inside. So the way to tell 
for me, I hold the glass at an angle and I look down at this edge, this edge right here. I look down at that edge and if I can see the entire edge, I know this is the clear side. If I flip it over and I try and see that edge, I can't see it. That tells me the dichro is on this side. So I'm going to put the dichro up, dichro up, dichro up. Okay, I did that by looking at the edge. All right, now let's glue it. And remember, it won't cure until I put the light to it. Put a little bead of glue right there. Make sure my dichro is on the inside. There we go. Let's cure it. And that's it. I have the beginning. Now let's do this side. And for this side, kind of overlap those two. And these, this one, I'm actually going to put it inside. It'll have a little edge right here. Do you see that little edge? Let's see. So instead of putting this on top of that piece, I'm going to put it around that piece. And this triangle, since it's the same size as the other two, will stick out just a tiny bit, but we're going to use that later. So I'm going to put the glue, I'll put it on the inside of this. The neater you can be, obviously, the better it will be. All right, got my glue in there going to set this down and wrap it around that piece. All right, I think I've got it right where I want it, so I'm going to add the light. I've got a little excess glue in there, but it'll be on the inside. All right, I think that is good. I should be able to flip it over now. I'm going to shine the light from this side, just make sure I've got a really good bond. All right, now if you look really closely, you can see this triangle is sticking out just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take this triangle, I want the dichro on the inside again, and I'm going to set it on the back of this piece, but on top of that little lip that was created by the bottom triangle. Do you see that? So I will set it right there. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue along this edge, this edge, and then the inside of that little lip. Remember, dichro on the inside. Get it right where you want it, and then shine that light in there. It only, only takes five seconds to cure the glue, but I do it a little extra. All right, that is our finished piece, with one exception. I would take this to the grinder right, right now and grind off these sharp edges. I don't want to hurt anyone. I wouldn't do this front edge. I just don't want what's up against someone's skin to hurt them. So I would grind those edges and then add a bale. So you can see how that turns out. So once I did that, that gave me an idea to do another one. And for this one, I wanted to put a little heart on it. The lighting I know is difficult on dichro, but let's see if I can show you. A little piece of dichro with a little heart. This heart 
is made out of dichro on black. So the first thing I want to do is glue this down. So I'm going to put my glue on the heart. All right, there you go. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to put a bottom on this and I'm going to put this bottom piece resting on top of this piece. I'll put my glue along that bottom edge. I have a piece of tape on there to hold it in place just for a second. Shine my light on there, my little UV light. It only takes five seconds, so you can see that's already done. Then what I want to do is, let me see which side is the front. So I'm putting the dichro on the inside. I'm going to put a little piece like this. So you can see through that dichro. And I want to cover up this raw edge on the bottom piece. So I'm going to put my front piece on top of that edge. So let me put some glue on there. I'm also going to put some glue on the top edge. I'll push that up against that bottom piece and then lay it against that back piece. Shine my light. Let me take my tape off because I think my glue is cured enough. There you go little box with a heart in it. I did not add sides to it. So I really like it just the way it is. No sides on it. If I was doing this on my own without having a camera watching, I would have straightened that up a little bit before I cured it. Taken a little more time. But I think it's kind of an interesting little idea. Now that's something you can't do in a kiln. You've got that three dimension. So I think this has some really cool possibilities. So now I would clean this up a little bit. And I want to point out that the back glass is a little more opaque. That's what I use for this entire pyramid. But the front piece of glass is a little more transparent. I used a different piece of dichroic glass on the front so that you could see that heart really well. All right, those are the projects. You can do so much more. Do this in a larger scale, all with a UV glue. There are other UV glues. They don't come with a light. So I just thought this was uh, kind of a cool product, and I wanted to show it to you guys. All right, thanks for joining me, honey bunnies. I hope you have fun with this. Bye.